Have we just stumbled into a global tech apocalypse, or is it merely a dream of sci-fi dystopias? Imagine a world where China no longer needs to rely on anyone. No more outsourcing semiconductor manufacturing. No more tech alliances where the US holds all the cards. What would that do to the balance of power in the world? That's the reality China is slowly, yet rapidly, crafting with its semiconductor ambitions. It might sound like a page ripped from a speculative future, but in 2024, it's happening. The country that was once dependent on the West for high-tech chips is now crafting its own silicon dreams. We're talking about a tech war that's shaping up like nothing we've ever seen before. The big surprise? China isn't just catching up. It's forging ahead with secretive, mind-boggling innovations that could make its semiconductor industry self-sustaining by 2030. This isn't your average story about supply chains or tariffs. This is a complete disruption of the global tech ecosystem. China's rise in semiconductor manufacturing isn't just about making chips, it's about mastering the very soul of the tech world. Here's a mind blower. China has quietly developed quantum-assisted semiconductor designs, pushing the boundaries of chip architecture. These chips aren't just fast. They have the potential to make traditional semiconductor technologies obsolete. It gets crazier. China's AI-driven chip development is outpacing the West, breaking all conventional rules of innovation. Their artificial intelligence models are now capable of designing chips without human interference. Just imagine a machine that designs better semiconductors than the best human engineers. These chips can process data faster, learn at unprecedented speeds, and self-optimize, things we thought were decades away. But what does this mean for global alliances? The United States, Taiwan, and the European Union have long enjoyed the upper hand in semiconductor development. The strategic importance of these chips has made them the core of international collaborations. Now, China's advances raise an eyebrow. Could they be preparing to disrupt this delicate web of alliances? When China becomes a true semiconductor powerhouse, they'll no longer need Western suppliers for high-end tech components. Is this the death knell for global tech alliances? How will other nations react when they realize their dependency on China's semiconductor tech? Let's dive deeper. China's geopolitical shift through its semiconductor independence isn't merely about economic power. It's a calculated political move. The Silicon Curtain, as some analysts are calling it, could lead to a more fractured, fragmented global landscape. Countries that once collaborated on tech innovations might find themselves in competing camps, each relying on China's chips or Western technology. Picture this, an entirely new form of digital diplomacy, with nations choosing sides based on who controls the semiconductor supply chains. Will global alliances still hold if China starts manufacturing the most critical parts for future tech? The geopolitical storm this could spark might redefine how countries interact with each other. In 2024, this is more than a futuristic theory, it's a looming reality. China's semiconductor independence could alter the very fabric of international relations as we know them. Is this the end of an era, or just the beginning of a new technological world order? The truth is, nobody really knows what the world will look like when China stands on top of the global semiconductor mountain. What we do know is this. The future of global alliances hangs in the balance, and it might just be a matter of time before we see what happens when one country controls the future of technology itself. So buckle up, because the semiconductor revolution is only just beginning, and it's going to change everything.